Now we are joined by MRS Outstanding Early Career Investigator Award winner, Dr. Walling Sheen. Welcome, Dr. Sheen. Thank you, Audrea. Your award citation reads, for a development of innovative transmission electron microscopy imaging methodologies for advancing energy storage and conversion materials. Tell us about your work. I developed the fascination about transforming our society um, uh, into a, a sustainable one. Energy storage and conversion devices is a very big part of this. So that's where I really applied my core training in electron microscopy too. Um, and that's really what my research uh, has been focusing on. How did you become interested in this particular area of research? There are actually uh, many different kinds of research that we can pursue with the tools that I have. But my personal preference is that I would like to apply this toolkit to something that will um, basically, how to say, divorce our, um, you know, the society from fossil fuels. Your work has enabled the development of a number of materials for energy storage. What are those materials and why are they important? Um, the first one is called um, intermetallic ordered uh, catalyst. Uh, if you look at the phase diagram, so um, there's a phase called an intermetallic order phase. And that's actually a big part of the phase diagram for all, many of these materials, but they were overlooked um, for many conflicting um, information in the field. So in 2012, um, me together with um, Tito Abrunia and uh, Dili Wong, we resurrected this field. Following that, I've I applied um, my electron microscopy toolkits um, to a set of a class of material that's called layer transition metal oxide that are used in today's um, lithium ion batteries um, and and um, uh, um, basically our microscopy study has contributed to the understanding how these layer material actually fades. Um, transforms, degrades, um, by understanding those fundamental mechanisms, we're able to actually tailor new chemistries that can actually make better cathode material for lithium ion batteries. So the third part is some things that after I moved to UC Irvine and started doing, which is called a single atom catalyst, right? That's a pneumatic approach of anchoring these active sites onto a solid support such that we can actually run this uh, traditional uh, homogeneous uh, catalysis um, in a heterogeneous way. Uh, for example, to convert CO2 um, to something useful like uh, like fuels. Um, and we can actually use foreign element uh, anions to actually tailor these uh, active size such that they will perform better. Dr. Sheen, congratulations once again and thank you for your time. Thank you very much, Audrea.